What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another video in our best of series where we're taking a look at the best players in all positions. Now we have attack and midfielders, a very important position. So we're going to kick off with our budget option, which is Garo. Now this guy is down as a creative midfielder and as you can see there we're not going to spend too much time on him he is a budget option but this is what he trains up to so he's a pretty decent player 47,000 GP very very decent his form is on D at the moment but don't worry too much about that I mean the form is not really that important at the moment but yeah what a fantastic player to get for under 50,000 we also have Pellegrini now this guy is your traditional hole player we've got him here as an 80 overall attacking midfielder he trains up quite nice you can see a 91 what he's lacking for in pace and speed and pure raw just power he makes up for in like deft touches beautiful player id and brilliant player skills so he is double the price of garo and he is quite expensive which is where our rafa silva comes in so this guy rafa silva goes 33 levels he's 76,000 gp this is in my opinion one of the best players in the game one of the best standard players in the game one of my favorite players in the game when i first got to division one with him on my main account he was my attacking midfielder slash right winger with corona and he's a beast goes to a 90 overall the thing i like about him is now is that he definitely does get that boost i remember as well with all these players they're going to get a plus two with the manager boost as well to all of these stats so th that 88 type possession is going to turn into a 90 you've also got the balance and acceleration we've gone a little heavy on that but trust me it will be worth it because he's a whole player we also have another budget option acosta who's further up the list than anybody else simply because of the bang for your buck that you're getting watch how this guy trains up lads he's 15,000 gp 38 levels 73 overall but he goes to an 86 overall this is definitely the definition of a hidden gem look at those stats the dribbling the ball control you've also got a little bit of speed but and stamina but the acceleration and balance listen all you need with an attacking midfielder is dribbling ball control tight possession and balance that's all you really need which brings us on to simmons so Simmons at a stage was one of the best players in the game and then he exploded in popularity. They kind of nerfed him into the ground. He's still a brilliant, brilliant option to have as a whole player with all the player skills. Whole players aren't as good. It's probably one decision you need to make is whether you use a creative playmaker or a whole player. Classic number 10 doesn't really do it for me in my opinion. But Simmons is a fantastic option as a whole player. And as you can see there, for a player that you're getting for un under 100,000, you're going to have all those sweet points uh, again with the tight possession, the acceleration, the balance. And he's got 80 finishing, which is a massive step up than the nominating contract card that you see in the bottom right there, which was a really good card as well for like a mid-season MVP. This is a fantastic attacking midfielder to learn the mechanics of the game, and I definitely recommend him. Now, one of the best cards that they ever released, lads, was a player of the week whole player, Eze. This guy was an insane monstrosity of a, of a beast, right? That's a lot of words to describe him, but... He was incredible as a whole player, like one of the best players. I have that version of him. You'll see it here in a second on eFootballDB. It's the player of the week version that was a whole player. But for 70,000 for his standard card, I would say that this guy is definitely worth a punt if you're looking for, again, somebody that will really, really do it for you without much fuss. Now, he is missing a couple of player skills, right? He's missing one touch pass on this card, which is a bit of a killer, but you can train it on to him. And, uh, it is a must for any attacking midfielder. I would say low lofted pass and attack and one touch pass are must for any player like this. Um, but all of these guys, Musiala is the most expensive on the lift on the list, and he just misses out on the top spot. He probably is. Look, he probably is the best attacking midfielder. I think Messi is probably the best attacking midfielder, but we are being strict on ourselves because Messi's not in as a registered attacking midfielder or Neymar, who I think are the two best because of their pace and their balance and their shooting and their overall ability. But Musiala is probably the best super sub in the game. He's 230,000 GP, which is a ton of GP if you're starting off. Um, but his stats tell the tale here. Like, what a player. Now, the one thing that kind of takes me away from him is that he's a creative playmaker. But creative playmaker has been really balanced compared to whole player in eFootball 22 and 3. So I definitely think if you have got the, the bang for your buck and you want to just blow the cash on Musiala, you he, he won't disappoint you man he's an absolute beast he's an assassin he's able to shoot even though his finishing isn't as high as some other players on the list so number one it is my main man nakunku so he costs half the price less than half the price of musiala he's one of the cheaper options on this now he's not down as a whole player he is down as a creative playmaker he does have standard form but i still think that he is probably the best pound for pound attacking midfielder in the game as i said 
Yes, players that can play in attack and midfielder positions such as Messi, Neymar, brilliant options. Pedri as well as a beautiful option there, Barella. But I think down as an attack and midfielder, as a registered card, Nkunku is a joy to play with. Now, his French pack was a brilliant, brilliant card. And then they also had the special transfer pack and the transfer card of him. But you can see even without the boost there, lads, what you're going to be working with here. And he's got everything. True passing, one-touch pass, double touch, long-range drive, chip shot control, and acrobatic uh, finishing, as well as uh, outside curler. You don't really need to throw anything on him. Maybe flip-flap, maybe soul control, if you're feeling saucy. But I definitely think that he is one to buy if you're looking for an end-game level attacking midfielder. You know, And if you don't want to play any like Messi or Neymar there. So we are sticking to positions for this. They are the training guides for all the attacking midfielders. We've done pretty much every position now. We're going to be working our way through left midfielders, right midfielders, and then onto SS's. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back in a bit. Peace.